Well, hey Virgos, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. So Virgo, this is going to be your August forecast love and finance reading. You guys already know, I'm not even sure if you do, but I started that last week where every week I want to have a weekly forecast with your love and finance. But I'm going to do this for August and get back into the regular routine next week. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what is in store for you, Virgo, with love and finance for August. This is for Virgo. Okay, so this one came out very quickly. <laughs> I'm anxious too. Let's see what this one, what this has for us, Virgos. Let's see. All right, okay, okay. So this one came out first, then it was all the rest of these, okay? <laughs> so let's just turn it over and see what it is. Here with the Three of Wands, okay, maybe an expectation of something here, Virgo. We have the Queen of Cups. We also have the Five of Cups. I see some disappointment. Maybe because of some type of delay or you haven't received, you haven't gotten what you wanted, I guess, in some kind of way here with Three of Wands, which talks about expectation. I have the Page of Wands, so something is going to get you moving here. We have the World card. Okay. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. So I, I just see that you guys feel defeated. Like, what's going on? You know, I, I feel like in general, it's just because things are not moving the way you want it to move. Um, and there's been a lot of disappointment. You know, you were expecting something. Maybe it didn't happen. Uh, we see with, with the Queen of Cups, very emotional um, time for a lot of you. Five of Cups talks about emotion, feeling a lot of, um, I, was, I wouldn't say depression, but I would see a, a lot of disappointment, a lot of sadness. But with the Page of Wands, I feel like you're going to get out of that place, right? Things are going to start changing for you here with the World card. So you won't be in the same place that you guys have been. So we're going to go ahead, even though we see the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck, you know, a lot of hurt, you know, dealing with some sneaky people, that type of thing, feeling very defeated, it won't last. So let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Let's get into your reading. What's going on with my phone? All right, let's get it. This is going to be for Virgo. Phone go off like crazy. Every time I start press, every time I press record. Seven of Wands, I love it. So even though some of you guys are just defensive, some of you guys may have blocked someone too, but you guys are going to get the victory over it. Look at it. See, standing in the middle, standing strong, okay? No matter what you're going through. Oof, here with the Three of Swords, a lot of sadness. And I'm not sure if this is just your energy, Virgo. I'm not sure if this is just your energy. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more card. Oh, two of wands. So you guys are moving forward, moving on. Okay. And here's that five of swords at the bottom of the deck again. So I want to go ahead and shuffle because I don't want you guys to think. I'm just going to shuffle and see what another card we can get at the bottom of the deck. What's here? Six of pentacles. Allow the universe to give, right? This is also support assistance where you guys may need it even financially or emotionally, okay? Virgos, wow. Um, I see a lot of disappointment. I see a lot of sadness. Like I said, here with the Two of Wands, as you guys moving forward, I see partnership. Um, this could be friends, and I do feel that you guys are going to be exploring different things, you know, um, being able to uh, maybe travel, just moving forward is what I'm saying. But I think that you're leaving, I know that you're leaving behind a lot of disappointment, a lot of heart, heartbreak, that type of thing. And you're in expectations of something, and you're going to get it. You're going to get it. So we're going to go ahead and clarify all of this and see what this is about here, Virgo. Let's get the Three of Wands for her. Some of you guys may be even having issues with family. Yeah, so you've been carrying this burden, okay? A lot of you guys are in expectations waiting for something that hasn't happened yet. Um, but, oh, man, I'm telling you, I feel like this is someone else in your energy. I do feel like there is love here. Um, and I feel like something has happened. Maybe someone feels that there's some type of unfinished business with that world. 
Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Because it's like I see your read, but then at the same time, I don't really feel this for... I'm not feeling this for you guys. I feel like this is someone else in your energy. Let's get the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Yeah, here with the Queen of Cups. Um, I see a decision that needs to be made. A lot of you guys are going to be making decisions in general. And part of that Queen of Cups is intuitive. Okay? It could have something to do with the past energy here with the Six of Cups. There's... We, this was the queen and we saw the king. Some of you guys are reminiscing about your past. Maybe, um, maybe something dealing with your family. You have to make some type of decision for your family based on your family. Maybe someone um, left an inheritance or something. I'm seeing that too. But I also see here with the two of swords, there's a stalemate energy in your emotions dealing with the past. But that's what's so good because we see you moving on from that. But a lot of you guys could be still feeling stuck. I also feel that someone is feeling guilty or burdened by something. That's not just you. Let's get the five of cups. Try not to get the table to be shaking. So here with the five of cups, this is you guys being disappointed, but this is also you guys, um, you know, working on yourself, building on yourself, focusing on your job, that type of thing. About, yeah, because see, there's been a lot of conflict. I feel like you guys are even internally conflicted about things. And it's just now time to focus on things that are going to produce fruitage, okay? Um, yeah, but a lot of disappointments. A lot of obstacles, okay? And regret is what I'm seeing too. Let's get this page of wands. Some of you guys with your job, you're not really happy at your job. You're really not. Look at this, the nine of cups. So something about this page of wands, it's small. It's very small. It's a glimmer of hope. Something's going to happen here. And it's part of something that you guys are wanting, whether it's a job calling, whether it's a love calling or, you know, moving some type of maybe someone is calling about a home, but something that you guys are waiting for. And it's like a glimmer of hope that's going to put a spark in you because it's something that you want. And I feel like the delay that you guys have been experiencing is going to go away. Um, I also feel like whatever you're hanging on to, that's going to get that's going to get put down. I don't do reversals, but that's what I'm seeing. Let's get the world here for Virgo. I don't see too much finances in this read like I generally do. Oh yeah, releasing. This is going to be a brand new for you. I see a lot of releasing moving forward. Mm -hmm. And putting up boundaries, moving forward in victory. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like in general, you guys are just blocking things, releasing things like, nope, <laughs> you're not going to stand in my way. I'm going to get what I want, that type of thing. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. And you're moving on to your towards your happiness. That's what I see. I feel like other people may be trying to, may, maybe wanting to fight to be in your life too, though. Let's get this seven of wands. And this could be friends. We'll find out. Here with the Seven of Swords, gaining victory. That's exactly what we talked about when this card first came out here with the Seven of Wands. This is gaining clarity, okay? What um, Communication, maybe, some, maybe you guys may have blocked someone off, but I definitely see that there could be communication with someone that you may have blocked in the past. But in general, this is gaining victory over a situation, something that may have been spoiled in the past, or dealing with friends that were just rotten, dealing with people who were rotten, you're gaining the victory over them. That's what I'm saying. Let's get the three of swords, no matter who they were. Three of swords. This is what I feel that you guys are gonna be doing in the month of August, truly healing. Look at this, three of swords. Yeah, because you were dealing with sneaky people. And be careful, because this is not just, this doesn't have to be just a love affair. This could be love. This could be work, co-workers. This could be business partners or family. Just be careful, okay? Because you guys may have a lot of love for that person and good intentions, but some people that could be around you may not have good intentions. So just be careful. But you've, you've suffered a lot of heartache because of that, 
Okay. Let's get the two of wands. Moving forward. Okay. All right. Now, isn't this crazy? Here at the, this is the, this is the Queen of Swords. I told you, releasing, cutting things away. Absolutely. And I feel like you're going to end up meeting someone. Here you are. This is you getting your 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 energy back, feeling better about things, really having a, a different perspective, a great outlook on life because you guys release something. And I feel like there's someone that's going to come in here that's going to be um, a loyal person. I feel like they could be a maybe a lover or this could be someone partnering through business okay um yeah i really do feel like this could also be a soulmate energy but it's because you guys move forward part of that two of wands this is partnership in business and in love but it was because you did what you cut something away okay I do see that you guys are going to be very stable. Whatever this little spark is, is going to really move you towards something um, very, very nice and great. And I feel like whatever it is that you're wanting, allow the universe to, to give it to you. This is part of receiving. I feel like the Six of Pentacles talk about reciprocity and love and also business, you know, being able to receive because of your, your uh, gifts or your abilities to do certain things, okay? We're going to go ahead and get into your finance reading. We're going to get some cards here for you, Virgo. Ooh, okay, Virgo. All right. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, I have parenthood. Some of you guys are maybe new parents or will be or find out that you're pregnant. Ooh. <laughs> here with parenthood. It says, spend time with your inner child. It also talks about... Um, your patient, nurturing, and warm nature will make a great caregiver or parent. And it says, don't forget to nurture and treat yourself. That's it. That's also it. You're working hard. Don't forget to nurture yourself. You've been through a lot, and that's going to be something that you guys definitely need to do. Now, let's go ahead. That was at the bottom of the deck. All right. So the first one we have here is easy does it. It says slow and steady wins the race. So this is you guys not rushing into anything, no matter what it is, love or business. So just be careful. It says this is not a good time to rush. Pay attention to every detail. Exactly. Um, and it says, and just be careful about getting involved with anything like get rich quick schemes, that type of thing. Just be, be very diligent. Okay. Here with patience, we all know about this card. Oh, why did this have to come out? <laughs> It says divine timing is at hand and that's with everything in your life, Virgo. It says it will require having faith while you are shown the way. It also says you may feel tired and out of balance, but the universe is forcing you to rest and recover. You need to. And it says for some of you, some money might be a little slow right now, but it's going to come in. Okay. We saw that even here with the easy does it. Here yeah, with celebrate. Okay, let's see what this one says. It says you've accomplished so much and you and and will accomplish much more. Yes. It says take some time off and celebrate your success. You deserve it. And it also says that there may be something unforeseen that may come in that will give you an increase as far as finances. And I also see even when it comes down to your love life, there are going to be something that's going to be worth celebrating. I'm telling you, I see it. So Virgo, allow yourself to receive. This is what I'm seeing here for you in the month of August, maybe going a little bit further into September, but this is what I have for you guys. This is your love and finance um, forecast reading for August. I love you guys. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in the bottom. No, it's in the description box. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye.